Come on, you can clap your hands with me like this. Yeah. That sounds good. Here we go. I was lost with a broken heart. Pick me up, now I'm set apart. From the ash, I am born again. Keep the clap going. Forever free in my Savior's hand. Follow you, Lord, for all my day. Fix my eyes, swallowing your way. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, we lift you higher. Like this. Can you step like this? And keep the clap going. I like that. That looks good. Here we go. In the midst of my darkest night, I'll let your love be my shining light. Breaking chains that were holding me. You sent your son down to set me free. Everything of this world will fail. And on till I see your face And I will live that your will be done And I won't stop till your kingdom come Here we go, here we go You are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, we lift you higher Your love, your love, your love never ending Oh, 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 let me see you dance You are alive in us Nothing can take Step with me again. Let's go. That clap noise. Y'all look good this morning. Here we go, y'all. We got to sing this one real low. All right, real low. Just like that. You are, you are, you are. All right, now get loud. You are the light in us. Nothing can take your place. You are all we need. Your love has set us free. guys did great this morning. I'm so proud of you guys. Give it up for yourselves right now. Come on, JC kids. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. All right. Now, for the real JC, the most important JC, I need you to give your hand. Give it a hand for Jesus Christ right now. Come on, make some noise. Make some noise for Jesus in this place this morning. All right. What we're going to do right now, guys, is I want to talk to you for a second so you guys can have a seat real quick. Can you guys believe that we've been doing this whole worship thing for like a month now? Isn't that exciting? It's exciting to me. I don't know about you guys. It's exciting to me. Thank you, Hope. I appreciate it. Everybody give, it, give Hope a hand real quick. Yeah, she's awesome. All right, guys. Well, I want to talk to you about something. So we've done this song in here before, and it's not, it's not too strange. It's pretty familiar. So this next song talks about, remember when I asked you guys a month ago, I said, how many of you guys like to win in life? So if you raise your hand back, then I need you to raise your hand now. And if you're new and you like to win in life, raise your hand for me. Yeah? Well, I like to win in life too. And see, the Bible talks about the fact that when we really trust in Jesus and we put our hope in him and we praise him and we dance for him and we take communion like the big guys are doing this morning in church and we do these things and we honor Jesus with our lives, that we can see a victory 
in every aspect of our life. And the biggest way that we can do that is to praise him, to jump, to, to worship him, to lift our hands, to sing to him. So what I want you guys to do right now is if you want to win in your life, you want to start seeing more victories, more wins in your life, I need you guys to stand up right now and sing this song with me this morning. Amen? Can JC Kids say amen this morning? Amen. Yeah. You guys rocked out on that first song. I'm going to need that same energy. You guys got to help me. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Because the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Oh, my God will never fail. No, my God will never fail. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I need you guys to help me out on this next part. The words are on the screen so you guys can sing along this morning. Here we go. There's power in the mighty name of Jesus. And every war he wages, he will win. And I'm not backing down from any giant. I know how the story ends. Amen. Cause I know how the story ends. Now I'm gonna see a victory. Sing it this morning. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. All right, guys, the next part is different, but the words are on the screen. I know you remember this song. I need you to sing with all your might. This is the real important part. You take the enemy meant for you, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take the enemy meant for you. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Can you sing it if you believe it? You take the enemy met for evil. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take the enemy met for evil. And you turn it for good. this morning victory for the battle belongs to you lord i'm gonna see a victory i'm gonna see a victory the battle belongs to you lord come on sing it like you mean it this morning victory i'm gonna see a victory yeah Belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Come on, if you guys think that you're gonna start winning in life, I need you to make some noise right now. Come on, make some noise right now. Make some noise right now. 
All right. All right, all right, all right, man. Okay, before you sit down, don't sit down yet. Don't sit down yet. All right, I need you to give yourselves a huge hand this morning. Go ahead, give yourselves a huge hand. All right, man, I can tell. I can tell we've been doing this for a while now. You guys are really getting it. Man, you guys are getting into it. I'm, I'm so excited. You guys make me excited. Just catching your energy, just catching your worship energy, and I love that. I really do. So what I want to do right now is I want to pray for you guys real quick. Uh, so if you guys want to take a seat. And I'm going to pray, and then we're going to check out this awesome sermon that Pastor Stephen is going to bring us, this word that God is going to speak through him this morning. So bow your heads with me right now, JC Kids, and let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for an awesome team. Father God, we thank you so much for an awesome kids program like JC Kids. We thank you so much for these wonderful children that you bring here every Sunday to worship you, God. And, and we, we see it, God, that they don't just come here for for their, because their parents make them, God, but they come here because they want more of you. We're starting to see that every Sunday more and more, and we thank you for them, God. Right now, we ask you to please help us to be a light, Father God. Maybe we go to school, and, and there's a kid that they don't get to come to JC Kids every Sunday, Father God. Maybe, maybe we can be their JC Kid. Maybe we can, we can show them the light. Maybe we can show them you through our actions, through the things that we learn here on Sunday mornings, Father God. We thank you so much for your worship, and we ask you to please open our hearts to hear this word that you have for us this morning. And in Jesus' name, JC Kids gave me the loudest, what do we say at the end of a prayer? Yeah. Man, you guys are awesome. Oh, man. I'm kind of sad a little bit that, oh, thank you for asking. I'm kind of sad because I've been having so much fun this whole month, and and this is the last sermon this month, man. I feel like I feel like we learned so much. Who's learned a lot this month? So many people. Man, first first we learned that that John the Baptist, he he was sent from God and and his purpose was to prepare people to meet God, right? And then we learned that John baptized Jesus, and that really started Jesus's ministry, and then Jesus did his first ever miracle at the wedding in Cana, and then Jesus taught in the synagogues, and he told everyone that he was the Messiah. Things have been going pretty good, I think, for Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah things have been going pretty good for Jesus right now. People are learning that he's the Messiah. He's been getting to hang out at parties. And, and people were really, really excited to just get to talk to him and get to learn. And uh, things were going so good that Jesus decided to go back to his home, his hometown. And, uh, you know, the cool thing is about your neighborhood, at least in my neighborhood, is everybody knows me. I get to hang out, I get to uh, have barbecues, I get to have parties, we play in the backyard, um, we all hang out and we cook s'mores. Who likes s'mores? A lot of s'mores, a lot of s'mores. We get to do that in our hometown with all of our friends, right? Uh, one thing I even did yesterday is we got to go swimming. Does anybody like swimming? Yeah, absolutely, man. All of it, listen up, listen up, everybody say, Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. See, Jesus was no different than we were, everybody. Jesus was no different. When he went to his hometown, he liked to have fun, and everybody knew him. He worked with them. He grew up with them. He played with them, and he did life with them. So you'd think that when Jesus went back, they would be really excited to see him, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, and, and they were at at first and here's the thing here's what's important everybody listen up here's what's important Jesus loved his neighbors so much he wanted them to know God too right so anytime we love something so much we want them to know about the coolest thing in our life right all right, now we're paying attention. So he was no different, and, and he started teaching them just like he was teaching the people at the synagogues that we learned last week. He was teaching them. The difference here was he was teaching them about Elijah and Elisha. Who's ever heard of Elijah and Elisha? Yeah, all of us, right? So I don't have to, I don't have to tell you guys that, uh, that Jesus comparing his neighbors to Elijah and Elisha 
wasn't exactly an exciting thing. You know, so the people in Elijah and Elisha's time, they weren't good people. They did things that made God sad, exactly, not happy. So he made, Jesus compared all of his neighbors to people that made God sad. So what Jesus was saying was his neighbors were making God sad. And you'd think Jesus was such good friends, and these people knew Jesus their whole life. You would think that they would say, wow, thank you, Jesus, for telling us that we need to do better so that way we can hang out with God. And that's what his neighbors did, right? No. His neighbors did the exact opposite. They got so mad at Jesus. They chased him out of his own hometown. They wanted to hurt Jesus. Have you guys ever been that mad at somebody before? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not good. So has anyone ever been so mad at you that they wanted to hurt you before? Yeah. And that's, that's kind of a scary time. Everybody say scary. Everybody say scary. You see, that was kind of a scary time because everybody wanted to hurt Jesus, but Jesus knew what he was doing was what God wanted him to do. And since Jesus was doing what God wanted him to do, God honored Jesus, and he kept him safe. Everybody say safe. You see, his neighbors didn't even lay a finger on him that day. So standing up, standing out can be scary, right? But if we're standing out for God, God is going to bless us for doing that. Oh, snap. That's got to be the big idea. Everybody say big idea. Man, the big idea is following God makes us stand out. And since we get to stand out, we're all going to stand we're all going to stand. Oh, man. So on the count of three, I want us to say the big idea together. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. One, two, nine. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I, I confuse this. I confuse it. That's on me, teachers. Teachers. That's on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's try that one more, one more time. We'll, we'll do three again. Okay. One, two, three. Following God makes us stand out. That was awesome. What a way to end the month. Go ahead and everybody take a seat, man. That is exciting. So we get to stand out because God helps us to stand out. And if we're doing the right thing, God is going to bless us for that. Everybody say bless us. Everybody say, bless us. All right, let's bow our heads and pray. Lord God, we thank you so much, Father, for helping us stand out for you, God. We want to tell all of our neighbors just how awesome you are, Lord, and you're going to help us do that, and we love that you make us stand out. In your holy and precious name, everybody yelled, amen. amen.